Okay, our life is limited, that's for sure. We born, we die. No doubt about it. Don't spend our lifetime on things what doesn't give you real experience because then it, you won't get more. You won't be more. The main thing is not to depend on anything. Welcome back to a new Life Plan episode. Let me introduce to you Adam Sabo, good friend, a biker, a skateboarder, a snowboarder, who just returned home from a three-year bicycle around the world journey. This is his story. My name is Adam Sabo, I'm from Hungary. It's a beautiful but small town called Eger. And now we are in Budapest after arriving from a three years long journey around the world. I cycled 39 countries and except the African and the Antarctica, I've been all the continents. I slept like 700 times in my tent and another four or five hundred nights. Some people offered me shelter, police, fire stations, churches, monasteries, ashrams, whatever it was possible, I, I, I lived with it. You have chance to understand better things if you are not separate yourself from what's happening. <laughs> injury by snowboarding, broke my cross ligament in my right knee and then my doctor said that the best rehab treatment to go cycling. So I said, okay, I, I want to do some cycling in Europe and in 2014 summer I've done a four months long and 10,000 kilometer bike trip. So yeah, after Europe I just found long distance cycling and traveling on a bicycle gives the biggest freedom what we can achieve as human being because we are always in nature. I can carry all my belongings. I'm totally depend on, on myself and on nature. And this was the perfect combination for me to reach deeper goals, which was to get know myself better. In terms of motivation, during my three years, it was easy. I had one goal to start from a point A and get back to the point A, always heading east and coming back from west. <laughs> I always had a really deep attraction towards snow caped mountains. So there was no question for me to cycle across the Pamirs and the Himalayas, namely from China to Pakistan. One of the highlights was also for me to cycle across deserts because it's challenging. You have to think further. I just love extreme circumstances. It could be really extreme hot temperature or cold temperature or windy or snowy or whatever. It's just it just gives me the, the feeling that I'm more alive. It happened sometimes that for two or three days I, I just haven't met anyone. I was just cycling and cycling up in a really cold weather but sunny and snow surrounded me and I was just by myself which is really really hard to find such places. I become way more after this, it was the best school in my life. The first and most important thing, what I learned that I'm not the one who I identified myself, the voice in the head, but the one who is listening that voice.
skateboarding was a really, really big step for me. And I'm really thankful for, for my friends or for, for, for life that uh, it gave me the opportunity to step in this, the skateboarder's uh, life. As a skateboarder, we started to think different like normal people because we started to use our surroundings in a different way. We, we looked on uh, ledges or stairs or rails in a different way. We didn't just use it for walking up or down on it, but we, we, we wanted to take most out of it, like the, the, the most what we could imagine. It, it was pure creativity. It allows you to see the whole world in a wider angle and it's the combination also in cycling, in snowboarding and any kind of action sports. It's so quick, uh, we can't think. That's why we are kind of forced to be in the present. So now I know why I liked snowboarding or skateboarding that much in my, in my childhood because I was constantly forced to be in the present. Without skateboarding, I don't think that I would ever had this idea to cycle around the world. Since I'm back, I experienced something different about motivation. Life becomes meaningless if we don't have goal and it ruins all our interest towards our surroundings, towards our friends, relationship, work, hobby, everything. We are focusing on the path, not on the goal, which gives you the, the possibility to be always in the moment. This is the motivation for me, being always in the now. I learned a lot of things and I've been many beautiful places where I could stop and live in the rest of my life, but it was not possible for me. Hungary for me is my, my origin. I think Hungary needs some refreshment, so I'm, I'm committed to this country to spread and to talk about all those things, what I experienced, with the hope that someone else can use it also, because I truly believe that I find the key to happiness. If life wants me to continue traveling, I'm going to travel, if life wants me to have a family and establish a family, I'm gonna do that. I completely devoted myself to, the, to life, so what life wants from me, I'm into it. <laughs>